Good afternoon, class. We will continue our discussion on ECN 215, that is Principles of Finance, and uh, with a sub uh, title on the structure of Nigerian capital uh, market. We introduced that topic the last time we met, and we will continue in that, in that uh, position. Because we know that the structure of capital market is very large. It is not something that can be treated in just one course and one, one contact. And that is why, in order to create a better understanding, we will try to get it segmented so that we will be able to flow along. Therefore, our study session seven continues, as uh, I said. Now, the structure of the Nigerian capital market. Nigeria is a developing country, and we know that there are other countries, other, other uh, capital markets in the world uh, that have developed over time. But from, the, from what is happening and uh, from the effort that Nigeria is making, it seems that it's trying to pace up with other markets in the international arena. Therefore, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, that is uh, NSE, NSE is the center point of Nigerian capital market. That shows that in the operations in the, in the Nigerian capital market is really being controlled by NSC. It is not uh, that the, we also have the security and exchange market, who serves as the apex regulatory body over NSC, that is over Nigerian stock exchange. And we also say that, we, we also can see that the Nigerian capital market is structured into two markets. That is one primary market and the second one is secondary market. As it then implies that the primary market is the first part of call, while the secondary market is after a business has come into operation. It has opportunity to also sell its uh, shares in that uh, secondary market, which we see that happens every, every day, even in Nigerian stock exchange in Nigeria's capital market. Now, the prime market is a market for new issues of securities, as the name implies, primary market. That is where provides a mechanism for companies and governments to issue new securities to raise money. When a company is a, if, if a, a, a startup company, its first port of call will be at the primary uh, market, where it is going to issue its shares for sale and through a broker that will be able to take over the sales. But the mode of an offer for securities trade in the market includes subscription, rights issues, offer for sale, and private placement, as we can see from Drummond, uh, Drummond uh, 1988. He also mentions the, the idea of the subscription uh, and rights issues. Uh, people that are in different uh, establishments or companies have one time or the other have received right issues, or they have a, what we call IP initial public offer. That is that happens in the primary in the primary market. However, the secondary market operates after the issues the issues have been completed and securities listed on the stock uh, market. If a company starts off and uh, with about five hundred or four million or five million shares to be sold and it has started operating. When it wants to come back, it will not go back to the primary market. It will now go to secondary market because it operates after it has completed the first issues. Now, it is also the secondary market is a vehicle for providing liquidity to investors. Investors. From time to time, investors go to come to the secondary market to raise funds because as the, uh, as the, as the company continues to drive, there's, there will be need for either expansion, for increase in branches, or for introduction of new packages. So the investors go to the secondary market to ask for uh, liquidity. And it is also licensed, secondary market is also licensed brokers, it is operated by the licensed brokers, and they carry out trading on the floor of Nigerian stock exchange. This happens every day, every working day of the week. At the, at the market. So, and the only ones or the only ones that can operate in this market are licensed stock, stock holders. Licensed. They must be, you must be licensed in order to trade in that market. Basically, an examination 
of the stock exchange around the world shows that there are two types of market structures on the secondary market, that is namely an order-driven and a quote-driven market. A quote-driven market. What we mean by order-driven market is that here a buyer and a seller of shares each has a broker acting on his or her behalf. The broker is to find a matching counterparty, that is matching seller or buyer. Matching could take place on the floor of the exchange of an exchange or a computerized system. Because as we operate in e-environment, um, interests are posted at the computerized system and uh, people can always find their way out. Like today we have e-marketing and uh, items are posted into the internet and people go there to search and at the end of the day they make contact with the owners of some products. It happens from time to time. The brokers profit by charging the client a commission for arranging the deal. That is what happens in uh, in the other driven market. Here again, we emphasize that the broker is to find because in this other driven market, it is the the buyer that has ordered for a, 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 an item or some shares to be bought for him through a broker, and then the broker goes searching for who has placed some shares to be sold in that market. And then the finally bought the one that sells has a broker. The one that he wants to buy has also a broker. So in that order, the professionals are the ones that meet and make sure that these, these uh, individuals get, uh, get uh, uh, profit for their, uh, for their interest. Then we look at the quote-driven market. Here, there are firms called market makers. Market makers. Their role is to buy and sell securities under all market conditions. They quote a price for either buying or for selling. They made their profit through such dealings. And also, buyers and sellers still have brokers acting on their behalf. Here, the broker arranges the transaction with a marketer, a market maker. The, the broker's profit is by charging a commission to their client. What this means is that uh, unlike the uh, the previous one we discussed, that is the other driven, where the market and the, the the buyer and the seller all have their brokers that are scattered around to see where they can meet at a point. But in this, the the market maker is that in the issue of quote driven market, the market maker buys this is so is to buy and sell security under all conditions. He buys this condition and these securities and individual scalp or brokers that want to buy will not come to the market maker to buy for their own clients. And the difference in the exchange is what is his own commission. We also look at um, stock market capitalization. This is another activity in the market in capital uh, market. Stock market capitalization is a discount rate used to determine future earnings using present value. Future earnings using present value. This means that from time to time, individuals make an order for a, a placement, maybe for in the next four months or five months. But you must know the cost price for now and infer what will be the cost in, the, in that period. And the difference will be the commission for the uh, individual, for the broker that has made that arrangement. It is a major determinant of the market size of any stock exchange. How do markets operate? How do they have their expansion made in such markets? How will one know that those markets are profound in operations? It is to, at, it is to a large extent, it is to a large extent to know that it, it is the of capitalization of that market that determines that this market is big enough or standard enough for individuals to operate it. The size of the market's capitalization and its growth would pose a major influence on the growth and development of the economy. Nigeria is always in the throes of getting more investors into its economy and we also have the knowledge that more foreigners and individuals are coming to our stock market to to transact business because they have confidence in our stock market because 
they are now discovered that there's a real expansion of Nigeria stock uh, market. That is capitalization. If, if the Nigeria market is not profound, we could not have had such individuals coming into our enclave. So the working Nigerian, the working Nigerian stock exchange, the, the way it works is that the, the SEC, that is Security and Exchange Commission, is the overall of, uh, uh, overall regulator of the market. And the, the operators in this market are Nigerian Security and Exchange, uh, the, the Nigerian Security Exchange. So whatever operation that happens in that market must be known by the Security and Exchange uh, Commission. This was established some years ago and it has been doing its bid in that area. And it is expected that no, market, no, no transaction goes oppressed uh, 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 without the knowledge of the stock exchange. And the stock exchange makes it uh, mandatory for all the operators in this market to be licensed. They make sure they are licensed and they are not made, they should not ever operate outside the confines of the regulation, of the regulation that have been handed over to them. And these are some of the things that were found in this stock exchange, in the stock exchange market. Hence, we are going to see in, next, in, our, uh, in our next uh, contact how the workings of Nigeria stock exchange has been and all the other challenges that also facilitate it as time goes on. Thank you very much.